Becoming as an engineering graduate isn't easy. If you want to become as a graduate, then you have to study for four years, attend eight semesters, and clear all the 20 plus papers and 10 plus labs in a single attempt, and write records, write assignments, do internships, and complete projects. And also, you have to maintain a CGP of 7.5 plus just to get eligible for the placements. And after all of this, you also want to develop additional skills. So, in case if I get a chance to do my engineering again, I won't do it, but in case if I get a chance by God's grace, I would change a lot of things. In this video, I'm going to tell you what are those things and why would I want to change them. And I'm damn sure that this video will be helpful for fresh years and people who are already in second and third year of engineering. So let's discuss about this in this video. And if you are new here, I'm Porcel1. I make videos on career growth, skill building and personal development. Make sure you subscribe so that you may not miss any of the life changing content. So without any delay, let's get started. From my school days until the last semester of my college, I used to study only day before the examination. Most of us make this mistake. Why am I saying this as a mistake is because when we study at the last minute, we will be only focusing on the important questions and trying to memorize them. Kali, Suli, Holi. We leave out the less important topics to save time and to reduce the workload before the day of examination. In short term, it is okay, but in long term, it creates more work. Let me explain. When I did my internship, I came across topics and new terms that I ignored as less important before the day of examination. That's when I realized anyone can score marks just by memorizing the subjects. But if you want to perform well in your job or if you want to get a good opportunity, then learning the essence of your subject is very important. Just memorizing is not enough. If I get a chance to do my engineering again, I would like to study earlier for the examinations. This is the first thing I would like to change. I wasted a lot of time in college, especially by scrolling. Oh, you Even now, sometimes I used to do the same and regret after losing time. <laughs> I will be having a lot of work to do, but instead of doing that, I will be scrolling and wasting time. If I had the chance to restart my engineering, this time I will be setting 5-6 to six goals every day like writing a script for 30 minutes or learning coding for 1 hour. On that way, I will be setting goals which aligns with my career and academics and also I will be writing them down on a paper and try to complete at least 50% of the task I set every day. Actually, it would at least help me to stay somewhat productive and as I always say, something is better than nothing. Completing these small tasks every day won't benefit me in short term but in long run they will be making a big difference in college final year projects carries 10 credits while the subject like m1 m2 m3 m4 carries only four credits so if you do your final year project well you can boost your cgpa drastically when i did my final year project many of the students bought projects from outside for 20000 30000 40000 and even some got it for 50,000 but myself and my teammate chose not to do the same. We planned to do our project by ourselves and use the resources given by the college and completed our project at a price of just 2,500 rupees and got the same grade as others. This is the only project I did in my college with full effort. I also did some projects but my effort was much less. If I get another chance to do my engineering again, I would definitely do one or two projects like this by participating in the outside events. It will be giving me a lot of exposure and also I can learn a lot from it. So this is the third thing I would have done if I got a chance. Participating in the technical events gives you more confidence, especially in most of the colleges, the main technical event is paper presentation. From my four years of engineering, I did only one paper presentation. From that single paper presentation itself, I learned a lot. Actually, in my college, I should have done more paper presentations because it would have helped me to improve my communication skills, confidence, teamwork and presentation skills. So this is the fourth thing I would have improved or changed if I got a chance to do my engineering again. You can be from EZ department or EEE department or mechanical department or from even civil department. It doesn't matter. But I would advise you to start to code as early as possible. I started to learn coding only from the 7th semester. Before that, I know Python a bit, but most of the companies preferring students who know Java, C or C++. So I took C++ in my 7th semester and started to learn it. To be honest, that was the wrong time to learn coding. Because during 7th semester, placement will be begun. Already you will be having academics, assignments, mini projects and NPTEL courses to look at. But adding placements on top of it makes that semester even more hectic. So if you want to develop skills, do it earlier, not on 7th semester. That's why I'm saying you to start earlier. Not only coding, it can be any other skills, but starting earlier will give you more time to learn it. Once the placement starts, you won't have enough time to learn it from scratch. 
if you start earlier to code then it will be becoming as a habit when you are in the seventh semester so it won't feel like a new thing for you it gives additional edge during placements and also you can use your coding knowledge in your projects even if you are from core branch don't hesitate to learn coding because you never know which skill might be useful for you coding is just an another skill learning it step by step will make a big difference in long run so these are the five main changes i would like to do if i can redo my engineering now i want to hear from you guys you can be a graduate or you can be a student currently pursuing your engineering what will you do if i give you the engineering days back so just comment down below i'm very much curious to know your answers and that's it for this video let me see you on our next one and thank you so much for watching till the end bye